Hey guys, and welcome back to your next five questions on the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, this is part of the AFQT, so keep practicing so that you can get the score you need to get into the branch of the military you're hoping for. So without further ado, let's dive right into these five questions. Number 11, we have to find the volume of a pyramid, but it gives you the formula right here. So it says you need to do length times width times height, and then you multiply that by one over three or divide by three, either way you want to look at that. So they do give you the length, the width, and the height. So we got five, three, and eight. Instead of multiplying the three of these together and then dividing by three, right off I'm going to recognize that there's a three and then dividing by three, so I can cancel those out. So our final answer should just be five times eight, which is 40. Answer C. Key to number 12 is knowing how many inches there are in a yard. If you didn't know, there are 36 inches in one yard. So they want to know how many inches are in three and a third yards. Well, first off, I'm going to divide this guy by three so that we know what that one third is. 36 divided by three is just going to be equal to 12. Now I need to multiply 36 by three to find out how many total yards that is. Well, 36 times three is gonna give me 108. So I have 108 here and I have 12 here. So 108 plus that 12 is gonna give me B, 120. So think of yourself of cutting a dollar into four pieces. Well, in each case, you would end up getting 25%. Well, the same thing happens when you're dividing a whole number by four, is you either get a whole number in return, or you get some multiple of this 25 cents. So in this case, we want to know 13 divided by four. Well, 13 doesn't divide by four evenly, but 12 does. And 12 divided by four is equal to three. Now that means that I have one more fourth left after after that and we know that's 25 cents so that means in this case it's going to be 3.25 which is answer d Whenever you're switching a percent to a decimal, you always move the decimal place over to the left twice. So in this case, moving it over twice would put us at 1.25, which is answer b. So in 15, you're given an isosceles triangle, which means that two of the sides have to be the same length. It then tells us that the base is 14 inches, but the whole perimeter is going to be three feet. Now, first off, this is in inches, so let's switch this to inches. There's 12 inches in a foot, so if there's three feet, I'm just going to do three times 12 to give me a total of 36. Now, we need to find how long each of these legs are. Well, 14 is the base, so I'm going to do 36 minus minus that 14 to give me 22 left over. And we know the two of these are the same, so we can just divide this by two to tell me that each one of those is equal to 11 inches, which is answer D. Those were your five videos for today. You made it all the way to the end. In the comment section, go ahead and let me know which branch of the military you're hoping to get into. That way I know a little bit more about the people watching this video and know how I can best help you to succeed. Remember, if you want to see more ASVAB videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and I'll be releasing a new one next week for the next five and continuing on after that. Again, thanks for joining, and I hope you found it helpful.